officer pulls over a woman to give ticket, ends up doing this instead after learning the truth. For centuries, the public has had a rather interesting relationship with the police. For one particular woman, her encounter with police officer Kevin Zimmerman left her in absolute shock when he did something completely unexpected. While most times, police officers are synonymous with something bad happening, such as a break-in, a speeding ticket, or an accident, they can also conjure feelings of safety and protection when they arrive in their branded uniform. What started off as a bad encounter with an officer turned out to be something completely different for Angela Jackson of Milwaukee. Also, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these real-life stories every day. Now, back to the story. In the same way that you can have multiple personalities on a board of directors, a sports team, or staff of teachers at a school, so can you have a mix of personalities working on a police force. However, all police officers have one thing in common. Their purpose is to serve their state. Kevin Zimmerman is a police officer in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Every day, he wakes up, puts on his uniform with pride, and heads off to work. But there's something about Kevin that makes him incredibly special. Police play a pivotal role in maintaining order and keeping communities safe. Their day-to-day -day duties typically include assisting with emergencies, monitoring roadways, and responding to burglaries. Kevin believes in the power of the badge and strives to do some good in the world. Whether it be making sure that the roads are safe for drivers, that crime is reduced, or the vulnerable are protected, Kevin is a police officer dedicated to making a difference. Part of a police officer's job is to protect the city with dedication. Sometimes, that means waking up on a Saturday morning and going to work while everyone else enjoys their weekend relaxing. On one Saturday morning in October, Kevin rolled out of bed and headed off to patrol. Winter was approaching and there was a bite of cold in the air, but he prepared himself for a regular day of routine patrol work. The last thing that Kevin expected was for his life to change or that he would change anybody else's. On this particular Saturday, Kevin was tasked with conducting regular traffic monitoring. This involved running the license plates of people who drove by. Although monitoring traffic is a far cry from busting bad guys breaking into homes, it plays an important role in maintaining order. The job of running license plates is important to prevent people from driving erratically or speeding, putting people's lives at risk. Little did Kevin know that his job of running license plates would change somebody's life. Running plates is a fundamental task for police officers assigned to traffic monitoring. The process helps to identify vehicles that have been reported stolen or involved in a particular crime. Every day, scanners run hundreds of plates in a matter of minutes. Kevin was going about his duty of running license plates when something popped up on his monitor and raised suspicion. When a police officer gets this signal, there's only one thing that he needs to do. These traffic canners run hundreds of plates in a matter of minutes sounding an alarm whenever a potential problem is picked up. These problems can range from unpaid speeding tickets to stolen vehicles. Regardless of how serious the alarm is, it is the police officer's duty to act on the signal, and that's exactly what Kevin did. When the alarm rang on one particular license plate, Kevin knew that he had to jump into action. There are several reasons that a license plate will raise an alarm. While some of these reasons may seem trivial, they could be the key to a much bigger problem. Kevin knew that he had to be prepared for anything. The car that set the alarm off had an invalid registration. Kevin was aware that he had to pull the car over and find out why the car registration was invalid. Regardless of the reason that the driver gives, the penalty is a ticket and a penalty. Unless that was the case for this individual, they were going to have to pay up. So Kevin did what his duty called for and pulled the car over to the side of the road. At this point, Kevin had no idea who was inside the car or why their registration was invalid. For all he knew, the driver could be a criminal on the run. Police officers always have to be aware and vigilant when on the job. Caution is a key attribute to being an officer of the law. Even innocent people get nervous when engaging with the cops and may do something irrational. Kevin had pulled the suspicious car over and got ready to approach the vehicle. Getting out of his own patrol car, Kevin spared a thought about what was awaiting him in the unregistered car. At the back of his mind, he wondered if this would be a routine check where he handed out a fine and sent the car on its way, or if it would be a different situation and he'd have to chase the driver down the street. 
What Kevin didn't realize is just how different this situation would be. Kevin approached the vehicle with anticipation and there was a tense pause as he waited for the driver to roll down the window. He was about to identify who was driving with an invalid registration and thereby assess the risk of the situation. As the driver rolled down the window, a middle-aged woman was revealed to be sitting behind the wheel. The face that met Kevin was friendly and open, and Kevin was no longer on guard. Rather than being met with a criminal driving a stolen vehicle or an intoxicated driver, Kevin found himself talking to a very normal-looking woman. She introduced herself as Andrella Jackson, a middle-aged woman who lived in District 5 of Milwaukee. In addition to giving her identity, Andrella also provided the reason for her driving without valid registration, and it blew Kevin away. Taking this job seriously, Kevin did his duty in pulling over the car after it sent an alarm signal on his traffic monitoring system. Walking over to the car, Kevin continued his duty by asking why the woman's registration was invalid. Kevin half expected the reason to be a lapsed payment or bad planning, but what he didn't expect was the reason that Andrella gave him. However, the reason made perfect sense. After chatting to Andrella about the rules of the road, Kevin found out why her registration was invalid. It turns out that she had just bought the car on auction and hadn't had time to register it yet. This was Kevin's first sign that Andrella was in a tight financial decision. Rather than buying a brand new car or going to a second-hand dealer, Andrella had haggled at an auction to get the best price that she could afford. Regardless of why Andrella's registration was invalid, the rules are still the rules. Unfortunately, she had been caught on the wrong day before she could register the car in her name. At least, that's what she thought. Kevin had his pen poised to write her a ticket until a strange noise stopped him in his tracks. There was an odd sound coming from the back of the car and Kevin's attention was piqued. As an honorable police officer in Milwaukee, Kevin was dedicated to keeping the law in his district, but when he heard the strange noise at the back of the car, he almost forgot about the unregistered car. Kevin was in the process of writing the ticket but paused. Something else had gotten his attention, and when he peeked into the back seat, he was shocked at what he saw. There in the back seat of Andrella Jackson's newly auctioned car were three kids jumping around. Andrella is a single mother of five and had two of her precious children in her car with her. But it's not the children that shocked Kevin, it was the fact that they had no safety seats. According to driving laws, children under age 16 must be restrained in a seatbelt or a child safety seat. All children under age 8 must be secured in a child safety seat unless the child is 4 feet 9 inches or taller. Violation of the child restraint law is a standard offense. At that moment, Kevin forgot all about the invalid registration. His mind and concern immediately went to the safety of the children. He says, they didn't notice any car seats or any restraints. Clearly, they weren't seatbelts because they're just they're jumping around back there, waving at me. Instead of being safety strapped in their car seats, the children were playing around freely. This was Andrella Jackson's second offense in one single morning. Not only was Andrella driving a car that had invalid registration, but she didn't have any car seats, which is a legal requirement in Wisconsin. Many officers would immediately start scribbling the ticket without a second thought sending the single mother off on her way with a hefty fine. However, Kevin was not primarily concerned with Andrella's legal actions. He had another priority. It was this priority that brought tears to his eyes and caused him to second-guess writing the ticket. When the Milwaukee police officer noticed Andrella's two young daughters jumping around in the back seat with huge smiles on their faces, he couldn't help his eyes from filling with tears. Big pet peeve of mine is kids not having car seats. Uh, she just purchased the vehicle from an auction. She didn't have time to register it, and that she doesn't have a lot of money. Contrary to what many people may believe, this is not because it's against the law, but because of another reason that carries a lot more weight. But why did this officer care if a woman he only just met didn't have car seats for her children? As it turns out, Kevin had a lot more in common with Andrella than what meets the eye. Kevin is a parent himself and he understands the grave importance of car seats and how they keep his children safe. In the same breath, I'm a father and I knew if something were to happen to him, I would be devastated if it happened to my kids. Kevin believes that all parents should care enough to have car seats for their children. But rather than judge Andrella, Kevin asked her why she was being negligent in this way. Kevin was deeply concerned by the fact that the young kids didn't have car seats. In fact, 
He was so disturbed that he almost completely forgot about why he had pulled the car over in the first place. Did Andrella not realize the danger that she was putting her children in? The officer was so astounded that he asked Andrella the question that had been burning on his mind, but he never expected the response that she gave. When Kevin set off on morning patrol that Saturday morning in October, he never expected to be pulling over a single mother of five. The fact that he did and then subsequently got speaking to the mother pulled on his heartstrings. By this point, Kevin is already feeling on edge at the thought of anything happening to the kids without a car seat. But when Andrella explained why they didn't have one, his heart broke even more. Andrella's reason for not having a car seat was simple. She didn't have the money to buy any. Not only did Andrella lack funds, she said she can't afford them at this time. With bills coming up and the winter coming up, I got to get coats and boots and shoes and stuff. So it was kind of hard for me. Winter was quickly setting in in Milwaukee and the single mother didn't want her children to freeze. In fact, the impending cold is one of the reasons that she had bought the car at the auction. Anything left over was spent on buying winter clothes to keep her children warm in the biting cold. This knowledge put Kevin in a very precarious position. Kevin found himself in a pickle. The woman in front of him was doing the best that she could to provide for her family. By writing her a ticket, Kevin was making her financial situation even more challenging. Listening to the compassionate side of his brain, Kevin decided to do something special. Instead of writing her a ticket, Kevin decided to let Andrella off with a verbal warning. In addition, he had a rather strange question that left her rather confused. Instead of writing her a ticket, he let her go, but made one request. I want to do something for you and your kids. I just need their weights. She just kept saying, she's like, what? And she kind of looked, looked shocked. He asked for her children's weights. Andrella admits to breathing a frustrated sigh when she was pulled over on that Saturday morning. I just knew he was going to be one of them polices that was going to be like, oh yeah, she getting a ticket. She was almost certain that she was going to be given a hefty fine for her invalid registration. The last thing that she expected was to be let off with a verbal warning. To make the situation even stranger, she had to answer a rather bizarre question. Officer Kevin Zimmerman wanted to know what her children weighed. Relieved that she didn't have to pay a fine that she couldn't afford, Andrella answered the question and drove off, without fully understanding why the question was asked in the first place. As Andrella breathed a sigh of relief, the cogs in Kevin's brain were working overtime. A light bulb went off in his mind. As he watched Andrella drive her unregistered car away, he started putting a plan in action. Kevin had made up his mind. He was going to change Andrella's life for the better. Seeing her situation broke his heart and he felt the urge to help her. But before he could act on his intentions, something else came up. Although Kevin had a grand plan in his mind, he had to wait until his duty at the traffic stop was complete. Every minute that passed, Kevin was closer to fulfilling his plan to make the world a better place. Once the traffic stop was over, he got ready to execute his master plan. However, as it goes with law enforcement, another emergency came up and Kevin's plans had to take a detour. Normally, when an emergency comes up, all thoughts are dedicated to solving the problem. The after effects of an emergency normally include a debrief and deep conversation. Most people would expect Kevin to completely forget about Andrella after such a busy day. After all, she was just a minor case of invalid registration at a traffic stop. But Kevin had set his mind to something and he wasn't going to stop until he had followed through. After the adrenaline of the following emergency had worn off, Kevin's thoughts redirected to the task that he had set in his mind earlier that day. With the knowledge of Andrella's children's weights, he set off on his mission. To be honest, Kevin wasn't sure how Andrella would react to his actions. Would she be creeped out? Would she be insulted? Or would she break down with gratitude? What started off as a normal Saturday had turned into a bit of a whirlwind. A typical day at the traffic monitoring station led to an emergency, and then a decision to change someone's life. Kevin had set off on a secret mission to make a difference for a family, and he needed one more detail to seal the deal. He needed Andrella's address. Using his authority as a policeman, it wasn't long before Kevin had the information that he needed at his fingertips. Kevin had all the pieces of the puzzle that he needed to complete the task that he had set his mind to do. Driving from the local Walmart to the address that he had recently acquired, Kevin was filled with excitement. The police officer walked up to the front door and knocked with confidence. The moments spent waiting for Andrella to answer filled Kevin with excitement and nerves. And then the door swung open. 
Kevin stood on the doorstep of the house, waiting with anticipation for Andrella to open the door. What happened next brought the biggest smile to Kevin's face. Andrella opened the door and her face was the ultimate expression of shock. A million thoughts ran through her head. Had Kevin second-guessed his decision to let her off without a fine? Had she got in trouble in some other way? And that's when she saw what Kevin was holding in his arms, and she was even more confused. The last person that Andrella expected to see on the other side of the door was the police officer that had pulled her over earlier in the day. To add to her surprise, his arms were filled with something other than a ticket book, and that's when the penny dropped. Kevin's arms were filled with brand new car seats for her children. All of a sudden, Kevin's earlier questions about her children's weight made sense. After his shift, Kevin had gone to Walmart and spent $75 on car seats for Andrella's youngest children. With a heart of generosity, Kevin handed over the gifts to the grateful mother. Andrella was deeply moved by Kevin's kindness. She shares, But instead of the tickets or anything, I got car seats. I was surprised, like I had tears coming down. That's when Kevin explained the heart and reason behind his actions. What had caused Officer Kevin Zimmerman to go out of his way and buy car seats for a stranger out of his own pocket? He explains in his own words, saying, I wanted to do whatever I could to make sure that the kids were safe. Kevin is definitely on to something. In fact, Safe Kids Worldwide reports that properly secured car seats can reduce the risk of death by as much as 71%. It was Kevin's concern for safety that made him do something extraordinary for someone who couldn't afford to do so themselves. But Kevin wasn't done yet. He had another plan up his sleeve. And she was like, thank you. And then they heard little kids came out and unpacked them, um, installed them in her car, showed her the proper way to install them. Andrella's two youngest kids, Naya and Skye, came running outside to help the officer unpack the boxes. This act of kindness is the last thing that Andrella expected when she saw the cop pulling her over earlier that day. Over the course of the next few minutes, Kevin demonstrated how to install the car seats and make sure that they were properly secure. All the while, not only did he give us the car seats, he actually put them in for me. He was awesome. I really love him. I really appreciate everything he did for us. Beaming from ear to ear, their hearts were filled with gratitude at the officer's generosity. After the wonderful encounter, Andrella shared her experience on Facebook and got over 700 shares, spreading the message. Since the story went viral, Kevin has received a lot of attention, but his humility dominates his presence. He shares the reason that he went out of his way to help Andrella by saying, A big pet peeve of mine is little ones that are not in a car seat. I, mean, I didn't do this to be praised or that a boy or anything like that. I did it because I'm a parent and I didn't want nothing to happen to these kids. The heart behind his actions was not to be praised, but to ensure that the community that he served was safe. Kevin's actions have certainly raised the bar regarding what is expected from police officers. His own department shared, Thank you, Officer Zimmerman, for going the extra mile and going above and beyond your call of duty. The generous officer was even interviewed on Fox 6 News. He hopes that other parents will see the story and be inspired to make their children's safety their top priority. To show him my appreciation and to show, like, you know, people over Milwaukee or wherever that it's not every, every cop not bad. You can't judge all cops off of one cop. Officer Zimmerman is a great example of serving and protecting with kindness. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with someone who may find it interesting too. Thanks again and we'll see you in the next one.